Hi everyone, well I thought I'd take the time out to actually show you through a couple of the old race cars that we've still got in the family, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we're here at a workshop where we keep a couple of uh, a couple of the race cars. We've got some pretty special ones here, starting with the two former Fords you can see behind me here, which are uh, not rotting away. They're going to come back to life, but uh, yeah, quite a, a good heritage, special to the family uh, and special to some other people, which is another story. But on the bottom here, we've got the RF95 Van Diemen, which was actually Garth Tander's 97 championship winning car, uh, bought, by, uh, bought by us for Alex for the 98 uh, national championship. Uh, sat on the sidelines in 99 when Alex upgraded to a 98 Van Diemen, which we don't have anymore. Um, and then that was my first Formula Ford, nicknamed uh, the Weasel. It was plain white uh, in the year 2000. We called it the White Weasel. Uh, actually, Jamie Wincup had a similar first car, which he called the Red Rabbit. Don't ask why it was red. My car was white, but um, won 11 of the 12 races in the Victorian Formula Ford series in 2000. And also I did four of the eight national rounds um, in 2000, uh, just learning my way in Formula Ford, won my first race at Calder Park, uh, had a second at Malalar and a couple of thirds at Phillip Island, actually still finishing sixth in the championship in 2000. So um, yeah, very, very memorable car, great memories in the 95 VD. Uh, for 2001, upgraded to the, the latest, greatest uh, Van Diemen from the UK, which was pretty exciting for us. Um, you know, with Mick Ritter, who built the car up at Sonic, and um, obviously had a very memorable year in 2001, uh, winning the Australian Formula Ford Championship, uh, having mega battles all year long with Will Power, and actually Jamie was third in the 01 Championship. Uh, he thought that car was so good, but that is actually the car that Jamie leased off us uh, for the year 2002, and Jamie actually won the 2002 Australian Formula Ford Championship in that car. So it's now in the, uh, the livery, livery of Michael Trimble, a good mate of, good mate of ours, that uh, has probably let the heritage down of the car a little bit. He used it in 2003. He actually did win a race in that car at Eastern Creek. Um, and it's literally still in, uh, in those colours now. As you can see, the 95 is actually in the colours of my cousin James, who did this year's Indy 500. That was his actual first race car in 2004. He did some races back here in Australia. And um, as you can see, they're a little sorry at the moment, but it won't take much to get them back to life. Um, little Birdie tells me that I'm trying to get my old man actually in this car uh, for next year's Bathurst 12 hour 1600 uh, Formula Ford race, which could be a bit of a laugh. But we've got some great other toys here, some amazing other cars. Dad's Formula 5000, uh, he's RT4 Rolf, which is hidden over there in the corner. That's the, the new project that's going to be coming to life. Um, and it's, yeah, obviously some great photos around the walls here. And um, yeah, pretty special to have a lot of these old cars. Jamie and Garth are both desperately trying to buy these cars back because they both won their championships in them. And I tell you what, it's going to have to be one hell of a price if they're going to get them.